This is unprecedented. What is this? 10 minutes? 10? About 10 to 9 minutes early to the stream? What? That has never happened before. Oh my god. Can't believe. Can't believe I'm actually not like 20 minutes late to my own stream. Alright. <laughs> As my voice cracks. Well. Hello everybody. Hi. How you doing? Welcome back to more Sly Cooper. Sly 2. Band of Thieves. Now. Before we get started tonight. Here's the plan. Right? We're on the last chapter of the game. Gotta get those clue bottles. Right? I plan on beating this game tonight. Is one of the dogs in my house barking? What the hell? Yes, one of the dogs in my house is barking. Okay, that's that's nice. That's amazing. Thank you very much. As my other dog starts scratching around his cage, even though he has a nice little thing to lay on. Nice little bedding that I gave him. He's being a jackass. Alright. So tonight's plan, right? It was... Are you okay over there? You were scratching everything except for the bedding that you're laying on. Dogs. Am I right? Alright. So tonight's plan, right? Beat Sly Cooper. That's probably gonna take around like, I don't know. About like... Hour and a half? Hour and a half, two hours? Who knows? There's gonna be extra time tonight in the stream, right? And off the bat, I didn't know what I was gonna do. Uh, Rune Factory is definitely not in the plan because that is, uh, <laughs> that is not even plugged up. The switch isn't even plugged up. Nothing's plugged up, really, besides my PS3 right now. So, so that, uh, there's really no plan for what happens after Sly Cooper. I'm gonna be honest. We might just end the stream because the other reason why we're starting a little bit early is because I'm currently like half awake right now so chances are at some point in the middle of this stream I'm gonna just I'm just gonna start like dozing off and I'm probably gonna die and have to redo a mission or some shit what the hell I'm like listening outside of my room right now, and the moment I click this record button, everything goes to shit. Dogs start barking. People, fucking babies start crying. People start knocking on doors. Everything that can possibly go wrong just goes to shit. What's next? My computer crash? Alright, anyways. Let's stop staring at the main menu. Let's... Get back into slide two. Now, where we last left off in slide two, we just defeated John Bisson, and Carmelita has did all her shit, got him, he's heading to the slammer. And as we were crunching for time, because Octavio, the bird motherfucker, he was coming to get that battery that John Bassan made, so we had to leave everything behind, hop in the battery, and head towards his flying fortress. So, the crew right now is in a bit of a state of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Shock? Disappointment? Loss? They don't know, man. All right. But tonight, we are here to finish Lie 2. 84% gonna get that 100. Episode 8. Anatomy for Disaster. Everybody shut up, listen to the cutscene, and enjoy yourselves. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. 
Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Sly Cooper and the gang in Anatomy for Disaster. All right, gang. How much money do we even fucking have? Do we even have anything on us? Uh. All right. Temporal lock. What the hell is that? Freeze time around the guards. All right. Diablo fire slam. Feral pounce. Jump over vast distances. Like Carmelita? That's a lot. That's a lot of money. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get that. Oh, by the way. Off screen. One thing I did do before uh, coming to this part of the game, I went to the other worlds and I grabbed the treasures that were there so we can get all the other upgrades. And you guys don't have to sit here and watch me pickpocket, so. So we got, we got a bunch of shit. We have Thief Reflex, which I barely use. I love this fucking stealth slide so much. Smoke Bomb, Alarm Clock, um... Music box is way better than the alarm clock, so I don't I don't think I want to use Thief Reflex. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine without it. I don't think I need it. Alright. So we got that. I know I have uh Bentley's hover pack, right? Now where are we going, Sly? What are we doing? I gotta get used to Sly Cooper controls yet again. And it's camera angle. Camera feels a little bit weird. It's been a while. Also gotta listen out for fucking clue bottles. There's clue bottles in here, right? Alright. Cool. Make sure to keep an eye out for that. Now, Arpeggio's Fortress is actually a pretty small area. It's very vertical, though. But, it's nice. It's not too bad. There we go. The area gets a little bit more difficult as we uh, progress through the story, but for right now, let's just head to where we're supposed to go. Up there. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to... I already hear a bottle. Oh, this is gonna... Oh my god, this place is gonna make me go crazy. Oh, there's a bottle right there. Try and get them as we see them. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. <laughs> didn't even see the spotlight. I was too fixated on the bottles. I'll take the hit. It's fine. I just wanted my bottle. Alright, I gotta get up there though. i am be honest, the, uh, our, our, uh, what, what the fuck is his name? Octavius is, Octavius? Arpeggio, that's his name. Arpeggio's Fortress is like my, uh, it's definitely my least experienced place out of this whole entire game. So, I'll probably get, not lost, but a little flipped and turned upside down, you know? Because it's so vertical. Give me the health, I need that. I want that, it's mine. The bottle should be the easiest parts though. Oh, homeboy got something in his pocket, I want it. What you got? Got a medium nugget. I'll take that, thank you very much. 
Thank you for your service. Oh, come on. You did not see me. He sent me fucking flying. Oh, my God. Where'd he go? He sent me flying and then he disappeared. And then somehow I lost him, I guess. All right. That's where I'm going over there, right? Okay, that's across the ways. I think I heard a bottle. Well, I see one. Just give me that. I'm hearing another bottle near me. Oh, it's right there. I got some good ears. It wasn't even that loud. You go to sleep. You go to sleep. I know you hear it. Liar. I can't even throw another one. There we go. Go to sleep. Stop walking towards me. I can't steal from him when he's sleeping. Really? Come on, Sly. Oh, there you go. What? I'm missing? What do you got? Medium. Hmm. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Alright. Up there. Got it. Now we gotta wait for this shit. What I'm not looking forward to in this whole entire area is this one mission where you have to carry around bombs and shit throughout the whole entire place and if you fuck up and die or get caught you gotta do it all over again and it is not fun it is just very annoying there's no checkpoints okay I'm hearing a bottle no I just heard one is it below me? alright let's not worry about the bottle how about that let's just get the fucking mission done Never mind, scratch that. That bottle's making a loud ass noise. I need to know where it is. It's bothering me. Where are you? Where are you? You Oh, you're a bitch. Oh, you knocked me all the way down here. Oh man. That's why the fortress pisses me off. I gotta get all the way back up there. Wish there was just like an easy way to get back up there. Can I? I can do this right. There you go. So that's easy. Come on, tilt, tilt back the other way. Oh. Come on. Just, uh, take your sweet time, game. Don't worry. It's fine. Here we go. I was just looking for a bottle, you know? I'm assuming it's over here. Can't hide from me. Alright. No, you stop. No, oh, fuck it. Mission time. I'm not even gonna fight you. Mission start. My instruments have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find it. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build a plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Relax, Bentley. What do you think's gonna happen? Nothing bad ever happens. Alright.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually like really fucking hungry right now. <laughs> Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Calm down, Bentley. What are they gonna do? Bring him back? He's dead. Listen, if I've learned anything from watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is that no matter how strong you are, you cannot possibly ever bring anyone back from the dead. Oh, wait. Wait, you, you actually can do that. Oh, wait, the person who said that actually did it. Oh. Damn. I'll never forget that. <laughs> you watch JoJo Part 4, Jotaro's all like, Josuke, no matter how strong you are, you can never bring anyone back from the dead. Meanwhile, this is coming out the mouth of the guy who brought his uncle back. Not uncle, my bad. Grandpa. Grandpa back just from giving him a cardiac massage or whatever the fuck it's called. Heart massage. Alright, so what am I doing? I'm taking a picture of Clockwork. Look at him. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have Not gonna lie, Clockwork's fucking scary. Like, even in the first game, he was pretty scary. <laughs> I'm terrified of him. You tell me that didn't count? Fuck you, Bentley. Fix your glasses. All right, eggs. Eggs. Okay, got it. You have no peripheral vision whatsoever. Oh, wrong button. That's what I meant to do. Oh my god, little baby clockworks. Can you move the fuck out the way? I'm trying to take a picture of the eggs. It's not even a good picture, shit. Keep it stepping, guy. I need to get past you. Thank you. Why did I start running? He's probably gonna turn around and look at me now. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. Sly, Radioactive. Do you think it's arpeggio? I mean, who else could it be, right? It's Neela. He has Neela and Arpeggio. Imagine if it was someone else. It's like, I think it's Arpeggio. Wait a minute. Is that... Is that Mugshot? <laughs> I'm waiting for this guy to get the hell out of my way. Oh, I can slip through. I'm like the fucking Silver Surfer. Neela? It's okay. Neela's here too. Even though Neela's looking directly at me. Even though you're looking directly at me. You can't see me, eh? Look at him. There he is. The mastermind that's the... That's the culmination of... Of handsome. Smile for the camera. I can't believe it. She must have been working with Arpeggio all along. Oh, you think? You think, Bentley? I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Listen, Bentley, I'm like really scared right now. I don't want to fight him again. We almost died last time. Consider it done. Consider it done, Bentley. Used a lot of big words and I don't know what half of them mean, but consider it done. I'll get it done. 
All I heard is keys, unlock, break shit. Got it. Now I just don't want to get caught by the by the light. No, I can just what am I worried about the light for? I can just go to sleep, motherfuckers. Bedtime. Oh come on. The other guy didn't move. Give me a key. There you go. See? It's easy. Can I make all of you go to sleep? Like, right now? Well, I can't throw from this angle, it seems. Don't mind me. I'm just taking what's mine. Oh, wait. You're not even the guy I gotta steal from. Oh, wait. No, you are. I thought it glow. I thought it was supposed to glow blue, like that guy. Your flashlights are too fucking wide. You ain't walking like in a good direction. You're just walking wherever the hell you want to go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you gonna turn around? Oh! No, 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 no! Almost walked right into the light. Step into the light, my child. Where am I going from here? Oh, okay, that's like a bounce pad there. See, Bentley? Nothing to worry about. Now that the inducer decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. And how does one reverse a polarity? Or do I get up there, actually? Oh. Where is the... There you go. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm not even sure if I'm on it correctly. Does nobody notice the fact that the clockwork wing is like moving by itself? Oh, come on. I can make it. I can make it. I'm Sly Damn Cooper. There you go. The moment clockwork starts moving, you would think the guards and everybody in the vicinity would start fucking freaking out. Like, oh my god, he's alive. There you go. Can I just jump from the other one from here? No. No, I can't. I don't even think I'll make it in time now. Come on, Sly, you got it. Come on. Oh, no, I'm not gonna make that. <laughs> That's a goner. Just gotta play the waiting game, I guess. Think about my life. All the choices I made. Wonder if I'll ever get to dance with Carmelita again. Maybe. Maybe I will. There we go. See? Did it. Clockwork. Done. Dead. What's all this thing? The magnets have been reversed. Hey, but... By Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. That don't sound good. Look at Nilo walking with some swagger. What the hell is that about? Sly Cooper. Of course this would be your doing. Constable Nila. No doubt you believed a 
I don't know your last name, so I just say say your title. It seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew. All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality. Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So... You sound crazy, what? Arpeggio. You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any Oh my god, Slice at Cairo? I was like, Cairo? Since when the fuck we went to Cairo? That's the tutorial. I forgot all about that. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. I mean, can you really call my gang pathetic if you're the ones trying to make clockwork and I killed them in the first game? I don't think I'm pathetic. clockwork alive for thousands of years. Hatred. He fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous You can't make people hate. Excuse me? <laughs> Sly, that's all you do. You're a thief. And susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa. Hypnotist extraordinaire devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. Arpeggios remind me a lot of, of Farqua from uh from Shrek, the first movie. Same hairstyle, same hat, smug face. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who eat me food. In illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. Oh, I'm sorry, Sly. Who's in Paris? Who's going to Paris? I'm gonna tell you who's going to Paris. But <laughs> necessary to give clockwork its spark. He said, wait a minute, we're going to Paris. My new body awaits me. Be a dear Nina and keep him covered. Ta ta. Oh. Stupid arpeggio. I double crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do Sly, you can just you can just knock her out right now. That looked painful. This is preposterous. You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or or I think he's dead. Behold, Clockla is born. Ew, Clockla. <laughs> Behold, Clockla. That's such a fucking dumb name. She just, she straight up just killed Arpeggio. He ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3. That's for sure. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. So, I'm kind of confused, because in the game, they're like, oh no, she's Clockla. She'll become immortal. 
just like clockwork the guy who we killed in the first game even though he was immortal it's like I don't think immortality was all that all cracked up it you know I don't think it was as cracked up as it was supposed to be we kind of kind of got rid of him in the first game if he was immortal maybe they upgraded the clockwork parts I don't think they did but maybe they did all right sly you got a mission up there Bentley has one Bentley has one close by might as well do it right Bentley get out here put in some work how do I use your thrusters okay I mapped it to R1 Oh shit. Only Sly can get that bottle. I can't shoot bottles, right? Pretty sure I can't. I wish I could. Make life so easier. Alright. I keep hearing bottles and shit. You know what? If I'm not playing that Sly, not gonna worry about the bottles, because half of them I can't even get to. trying to aim it at a good direction so I can hit the there we go maybe a little wider the fuck what's my phone going off for something on Twitter I don't like that I don't like the fucking updates that Twitter did it feels weird. They try to make it more like, I guess they try to make it more like Instagram or some shit. I don't like it. It's weird. Am I missing? I am missing. Alright, maybe let me move up a bit. There we go. There we go. See? It's not that difficult. I just want the thing to bounce off the wall forever and ever. Alright. We got two other terminals. Where are they? Oh, come on, man. There's one up there. Is there another one nearby? Mind your own business, sir. Up there. Is there another? Here we go. Wouldn't there be like a ladder or something? Right? I guess I gotta go all the way around. Ouch. Oh, shit. like the airship, but the layout sometimes pisses me off. Oh. Only Sly can use ladders. Okay. Come on. Come on, Bentley Murray can't use ladders? What are we doing? What are we doing out here? I gotta sneak on through. Don't turn around. There you go. Go 
going all the fuck the way over here. Making everything difficult and shit. How do I... Oh, are you fucking... What? I was looking at... I was looking at the area. I'm like, how do I get up there? That's how, alright. My bad. My bad. I didn't see that right. Oh shit. Let me up here. And now we play the waiting game. Isn't this game supposed to be difficult? Uh, no. Not really. Sly Cooper games are pretty... Uh, depending... Well, I guess depending on the game. The first game... None of them are really hard, but there are some missions in the games that are a pain in the ass. Mainly because either you have to do like a long stretch of something with like no checkpoint. Or, uh... Or you're dealing with the character's limitation or something, because Sly's the most versatile of the characters. So when you're not playing as Sly, you're kind of, like, handicapped. As for the collect-a-thon shit, fucking... The game definitely becomes more of a collect-a-thon, like, in this level, because it's towards the end. And they kind of have to stretch it out, I guess. Oh, shit. But, like, earlier in the game... Like, it's less of a collect-a-thon. It's more of like, here's your mission. Do what you gotta do. Get to point A, point B. I think, uh... I think Sly 4 is the one where they, like, really go heavy with the collecting shit. And Sly 3... Since that game is, like, longer, they got rid of, like, clue bottles and shit, so... There's really not much to do in the overworlds. F fuck off. Come on, come on, just shoot, just shoot the damn thing. God damn it. There we go. Loading screen slide for has a bunch of collect- Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. See, when I was thinking about Sly 4, I was just thinking about, like, there was more treasures and, like, more, uh, like, the clue bottles are a little bit more difficult to find. But then I also forgot they got, like, the mask and shit. And then they had something else in there. I think they were, like, I forgot what it was. Some bullshit. I think there's, like, certain screenshots you gotta take or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> Sly mask was weird. Never found them all. I never found them all either. And to be honest, none of the rewards for it was worth it at all. Like, the first the first two, I don't even remember what the first two were. It was like something like really, really not important. Then the other ones was just unlocking the costumes for the characters, which gave some benefits, I guess. But, but at the end of the day, all the costumes kind of looked ugly, except for Carmelita's, I guess. And then, after that, if you collect more, you either get, um... You either get the weapon for, uh... F for Infamous. Oh, thanks for the follow, Lupu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Lupu3. Um... You either get the weapon from Infamous... And... You get... I forgot what the other weapon was. It's from another Sucker Punch game. But I can't remember, for some reason. Bentley? Where the fuck are we going? Alright. What do I think of the new emote? Looks nice. I like it. It's a Pokeball. A little... little creature inside of a Pokeball. Is it supposed to be a specific Pokemon? Or is it just supposed to be like a mystery? By the way, how's everybody's day going? 
part of my manners, right? I'm sitting here talking shit about the game. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to sneak around with Bentley anymore. Fuck this. We're going. We're gone. We're out of here. Where the fuck? Man, I can't wait. <laughs> like, I will say... Ah, oh, fuck. Arpeggio, I hate your fucking... Ah! Uh, I hate the layout of this place. I like it. I like the place, but I hate the layout. Because to go all the way up there, I gotta go all the fuck the way down here. Like, god damn it. Oh! Is that like a, uh... I can't really tell. Is it like a red Rayolu? I love Rayolu. I like Rayolu more than I like Lucario, actually, to be honest. Lucario's cool, but Rayolu, that's, that's the guy. That's my son. Oh, I pressed the circle button. Come on, Bentley. Staring at the damn thing. You were scared of the episode? You had to turn the music off? Oh, shit. I wish they did more with, like, uh... With Clockla flying around, because... She can spot you, but it's, like, very rare. Like, you really gotta, like, be chasing her down, I guess, or some shit. Oh, fuck this. God, Bentley, I hate your fucking... I hate your minigame shit. There we go. Give me a second. I want to read the chat, but I don't want to get hit by a fucking stray bullet. Because in these goddamn... And Bentley's hacking shit, you really get, like, stun lock. From these damn things. Like, they can really push you in the corner and not let you go. Fuck you guys. There you go. Alright. Where Lucario's the mascot? Okay, that's nice. Had to turn the music off in 4 and 5. 4 and 5? 5? What are you talking about? <laughs> Explain. You got a you got a secret version of the game? Oh, episodes four and five. I thought you meant like the game. <laughs> they meant like Sly Four and Sly Five. I'm like, what do you want about? Oh goddamn! You tell me I got company the moment I fucking pick this shit up. Wait, you wait your turn. Behold! Oh shit. The only two guys. I was gonna I was gonna do the fire fist. Oh wait, do I not have that equipped right now? Do I not have that equipped? What do I have equipped? Oh I have my belly flop equipped. Okay. Sorry, I'm just mashing one button. You really don't have to mash multiple buttons. You can just do one button. Just wait your turn, guys. Don't worry about me. Stop. No. Damn it. There you go. I wish they thought of something else besides just, like, mashing the button. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> Because it feels like I'm not really making any prog progress, you know? They're just like, yeah, keep pressing that button. It's the same feeling you get, like, if you had, like, a... If you had, like, a younger sibling or something, and you gave them the controller that wasn't plugged up, and you're like, see, you're playing the game. Yeah, keep pressing the buttons, you're doing it. We've all done it once. Alright. So what am I doing, Sly? Am I going... I'm going up? Did I miss one? I think I missed one. Oops. I did not pay attention to the goddamn words so I said. What, are you, what was he telling me to do? <laughs> Sorry, Sly. I guess I'm going up then. 
Isn't this... Isn't Bentley supposed to do this up here? Right? Nope, I guess it's Murray. I will say... The fucking belly slam in this game... And slide 2 in particular, it feels weird. <laughs> they definitely made it feel more, uh... I guess it's too floaty? Because you can really... Like, half of the time I use that damn thing, it doesn't really do anything. Another engine bites the dust. I just, like, bounce off of the enemy or some shit. Alright, good job, Murray. Oh, shit. Now I gotta get out of here. So, to anybody here about the goofiness that is <clears throat> about the goofiness that apparently there's a rumor going around that the PSP, PS Vita, and PS3 stores are going offline. Billy had kind of a similar thing in his Okay, and his ups. Okay. Alright, because I, I could have sworn I remember Bentley, like, bombing some shit. Yeah, so you heard of that, right? Now, I never really liked digital shit, to be honest. But, it's way more convenient to get it instead of just driving to the store. Right? You didn't hear about that? Yeah, so for the past three days, there's, like, a rumor going around that apparently somewhere in August or June or some shit. Uh that the PSP, PS Vita, and uh, PS3 online stores are gonna go offline and you won't be able... So far, what people are saying is that you won't be able to purchase games. No one has said anything about being able to download what you own or anything, but at the same time, these are all rumors from a credible source. But a credible source can be any source nowadays, because it's not that hard to predict shit. Right? So... And the PSP and the PS Vita, I can understand, right? Especially the PSP. Your time has come, I guess. But, not the PS3, man. Not the PS3. PSP emulation? Done. PS Vita emulation? Hard as fuck to do, but most of the games that people want on the Vita has been transported to other things via P either PC or, uh, or uh, remastered on the PS4. The last game we were waiting for was Persona 4 Golden. That's on PC now. Right? But PS3? Come on. They were supposed to transfer all that stuff to the PS4 online store. Most of the games on PS3 that are only on PS3 and even owned by Sony fucking aren't even on the PlayStation now. One of the games being Folklore. Right? It's like... Come on. PS2 as well, right? PS2 doesn't bother me too much because here's the thing. PS2 emulation is easy to do. PS3 emulation is so fucking stupid. It's hard to do. It's ridiculous. Right? It's just like the Vita was ridiculous, but it wasn't that important because we already got everything we wanted off of that. It got ported to everything else. But the PS3... It's ridiculous. So difficult to do. People still can't get Spider-Man 3 to work. Game ain't even that good. <laughs> right? But, what's even more ridiculous than all of that, right? So, say, uh, say, alright, the store goes down, you can still download the games you have, but you just can't buy shit, that's fine. Right? I wouldn't be mad, right? What's really stupid and really dumb. What what the fuck do I do? Oh, I gotta throw something at it. Um, what's really stupid and really dumb is that our good friends can't play Slime without a PS4 if they close stores, yeah. I mean, I have the physical copy of uh, the Slime Collection, right? But, um, what's really dumb is that our good old, the good old people that, uh, I should have missed that. Damn it. Good old people who like to archive games and stuff, as they're looking at the PS3 and stuff, they're like, Hey, what's this, like, eternal clock thing? Where even if you have a physical copy of the game, once 
the internal clock is done with and stopped updating, right? Do I not throw shit at that? Am I crazy? It's like once that stops updating, it's like once that stops updating, it won't be able to verify even your physical games. So, your PS3 is just going to be a brick, even if you have physical copies of games at some point. You know? Right? Unless Sony wants to keep paying to have the servers up. Which, to be honest, it's not really that much money for Sony. It really isn't. <laughs> like, the money that they will quote-unquote save for, uh, what the hell am I supposed to do? Destroy the state. Okay, so I am supposed to destroy them. Taking a lot of hits. <laughs> it's like... Um... Fuck, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought here. Because I'm sitting here playing, playing the game and trying to get this thought across. Was that the only barrel that I had near me? Oh, fuck. Can I jump up here or something? Thank you. Here we go. Let me at least let me at least get rid of this thing so I can think freely for a moment. <laughs> there you go. Now you're broken. All right. We done with the closed store and you can't play the games you have brought. Yeah, that'd be really fucking dumb. It also piss a lot of people off. Which is why I never really. Which is why uh, I understand because I have a PlayStation Five, right? You know, hard flex here. And, you know, when it was coming out and people were searching for it, they're like, all I want is the digital version. I don't need the physical version. And for me, I would sit there and be like, you serious? You know, there's some games that might not even work properly on the digital version that you might just need the disc for. Some games run better with the disc. And then once they uh, take away your shit, <laughs> it's bye-bye forever. Yeah, so, not only that the PS3 has that, like, internal clock thing, the PS4 also has the internal clock thing. So at some point, your PS4 is not gonna be able to read even your physical games. So, congratulations with that, fucking Sony. Like, come on guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why'd you make it like this? Like, why'd they do that? <laughs> It's like, it's like, I would understand if they just, like, the best case scenario that would happen here is somehow if they just said, all right, we're taking the store off the PS3, off the PSP, off the Vita, and we're merging it, we're going to merge it into the uh, PS4, PS5 store. That'll be fine. If they can do that, that'll be fine. Because, because... It's not impossible for them to do it, and it's not even that... It's not even that much work for them to do it either. Because the fucking PS3 and the Vita and PSP, they all do that secretly anyways. There are certain games <laughs> that, even though it's on the store for the PS3, right? It's also on the store for, like, the PSP and PS Vita, but for some reason, in those stores, you just can't search them. But they're still there, hidden away. It's all the same storefront. So it's not that hard for them to merge that into, uh, the PS4 or the PS5, right? And it's not even, like, an operating system thing or whatever the fuck. Because the PS4 store and PS5 store are vastly different from each other. <laughs> They're vastly different from each other, but they have the exact same catalog. Like, there's nothing on the PS4 that you can't get on the PS5. Let's see. <laughs> you gotta go to school right now? Alright. Study hard. Thanks for stopping by, though. Thanks for listening to my PlayStation rant. And don't forget to I guess if you if you have the if you have the memory to download your games, all your digital games off the PlayStation Store, might as well do it now. Before it goes goodbye bye. Right? Fuck. There we go. Oh, 
come on guys leave me alone get away from the get away from the barrel there we go need one more barrel over here Oh shit. Come on, Spotlight. Get out of my way. There I go. I mean at least what the at least what I know from like the uh I think off the Wii E shop you can still download the games that you own. At least I thought that's how that still worked. I saw someone do it. At least I think I saw someone do it. Oh, I want this. So shiny. I just really hope they don't. Like, Sony, come up with something, man. Like... Even if, like... You can merge the stores, merge them. If you come out with, like, some sort of new fancy PS3 Mini, and you're like, it works on here, then do it man even if it's just for physical games like you can't you can't just like get rid of your whole backlog like that especially when Microsoft is like hey guys buy the Xbox Series X you can play four generations of games on it everything from the original Xbox you can do it it's like come on Speaking of backwards compatibility shit, you can't... <laughs> I was checking it the other day, because I was like, you know what, I gotta... I gotta get the rest of these Assassin's Creed games, like, all together. And I was looking for Assassin's Creed Syndicate, right? On, on the PS5. Apparently, on the PS5, you can't buy Assassin's Creed Syndicate, because apparently that game doesn't work on the PS5. Well, at least I heard it... I heard it works, but it's, like, super buggy for some reason. So if you're on the PS5 and you're trying to buy Syndicate, you can't do it. You could buy it off the PS4 and then turn on your PS5 and go into your your fucking history and download it through there, I guess. Still kind of goofy though. Oh. I got all the things. Cool. What do you want me to do, Sly? Destroy this thing. Wait, what? Am I returning? Am I heading back to the safe house? <laughs> really didn't give me no waypoint sly the only waypoint I see is uh, the safe house so I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume I can head back to the safe house everything will be fine right you won't refresh the fucking <laughs> won't refresh the mission or anything right oh nope up there see there you go <sighs> slide 3 definitely helps out with like locating your mission and stuff they made it way easier It made it way easier to locate your mission. You just tap, you just tap on L3, and then a little cursor pings the area on your screen, and it's like, hey man, up there. Go up there. Ah, fuck, I can't even. I keep going the wrong way. Because if I want to go all the way up there, I gotta go from over here. Like, why is there, why is there no connecting platform on the middle? Should be like sta steps or something to go up here, like in the middle area, instead of having me run all the fuck over here so I can go up there. Goofy. It's a goofy game. There we go. Or at least make it so that everyone else can use a ladder, right? Sly's the only one who can use ladders. Like, why? Why is that a thing? Here we go. See. Hey, how Sly 4... <laughs> Sly 4 has reminders for every little thing. The arrow. The good old taxi arrow. It's like, hey, dumbass over here. I mean, I'd rather have the arrow over my head instead of fucking having to search for the waypoint. 
Like the waypoint's supposed to make it easy to find things. Why do I gotta search for the waypoint? Bentley, I did not hear a goddamn word you say, so I'm just gonna assume that I'm jumping across the area. Slowly but surely. Is this thing moving? I think I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this wrong, right? Well, I'm stuck. I'm stuck here now. Keep going. Oh, shit. Huh. There you go. <laughs> nice. Saranzu's done anything recently? No, they haven't. They have not, actually. Saranzu only done... They... All they did was... Literally, I think all Saranzu has actually done since their... You know, since their beginning is they ported the Sly games. Am I going in the middle? What am I doing here? Okay, well, that was dumb. Guess I was going around. Um... All they done was port the Sly games, make Sly 4, and then they worked a little bit on, uh, no, my bad. They made the Sonic Boom game, but not the Wii U version. The Fire and Ice game. That was on the, uh, ow. That was on the 3DS. That's all they've done. After that, they went on, like, I gotta pay attention to what the fuck I'm doing. After that, they went on, like, uh... I remember there was like a, a year ago, there was like some circulations going around of uh, of them talking to like Greg Miller on kind of funny and shit. And he asked, he said, "Okay, so what's good with Sly? With Sly Cooper? What's going on with that?" And they said, "Honestly, we want to make a Sly Five. You just have to ask Sony." Like the here, a bit of a spoiler for Sly Four. It ends in like a. An area in Egypt and as for that they actually have like a script written up for the Egypt area already like done am I done here Billy is that all I have to do so that's all that's all Saranzu has been doing after that they've done nothing from what I know You don't want it, Saranzu to touch Sly? Uh, I, I'll give them another shot. I'm not opposed to Saranzu touching Sly. Because... Because here's the thing. Uh... Fucking... They ported over the Sly games. So... Going into Sly 4, they had... You know, they have... They didn't make the Sly games, but they have some experience with, like, how it controls and stuff like that. Sly 4... The problem with that is that I honestly think that, you know, over the years, anyone who likes Sly probably, like, you usually just hear, like, what do you like about Sly? Oh, I like two of the best, three maybe the second best, and then first, either the least, three and three and one can be interchangeable, right? Not counting four, because four didn't exist yet. Like, that's usually what you would hear people say, like, two is the best. What's the problem with three? Three had too much. Was the new characters the problem? No, the new characters was not the problem. It's just that there was too much, right? So I feel like, cause Saranzu games, they seem to be like, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind that they're not huge Sly fans. Cause just look at the animation that they did for that stuff. It's so damn good. There's so much love and care put into that game and I can see it. But they just played it so goddamn safe because they don't want another Sly 3 on their hands where the game overstays its welcome and it feels more like Okami. Right? So, you still have Sly, Murray, and Bentley going around the world, quote-unquote, but through time. Um, pulling off of these heists and stuff with, like, you know, a new character here and there. I think that's also why they didn't do that much with Carmelita, because in Sly 3, you do a lot with Carmelita compared to Sly 4. 
Like, I think, I think they were just kind of like, it's like, hey, Sly hasn't had a game in a while, right? They were, the writing is definitely stupid. I will give you that. I don't want to get too into it because at some point, I don't want to spoil it for people. At some point, we are going to be tackling Sly 3 and Sly 4. But, um, yeah, there's definitely some things in there where characters do stupid shit for no reason. No rhyme or reason. Characters regress back to, like, like, they go way back onto their character arcs like it never even fucking happened. Right? Um. And I think the main reason for that is because same like it's also it's that and then it's like the ancestors with sly like they really didn't have too much after after kid cooper they really were kind of like a side note like ryuichi and kid cooper were the two people who had like the most screen time and most like oh shit i gotta go get the fucking barrel now this is what i didn't want to do where's the barrel where's the fucking barrel Did I pass the barrel? Where is it? Oh, it's up there. <sighs> Damn it. This is the mission I fucking hate. Oh, shit. Let me see. Uh, hypercritical because of an artist. Always look at things. Could've made this, could've made that exactly right. <laughs> hypercritical all art now. Same, same thing as, like, you fucking erased it a million times. You're like, could be better. Um, okay, so that's the bomb thing. Where's the barrel he wants me to get? Isn't there, like, a barrel I gotta jump into or something? To, like, collect those? I probably was standing in front of the barrel. You know what? Fuck it. I don't know, I don't know where the barrel is. I'm gonna kill myself. It'll respond me right in front of it. Yeah, but with the characters, it's like... See, there's the barrel. There we go. With the characters, it was mainly... It was like, okay, here's Sly. We have some ideas for his ancestors because throughout each fucking Sly game from like 1 to 3, you always saw like Kid Cooper in Ryuichi, right? And you always saw... uh whatever the fuck the night one was called, Sir Galath or whatever, I don't fucking remember. Um... Like, you've seen those. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Spotlight just came out of nowhere. I think in Sly... Maybe in Sly 1... No, I think... Yeah, I think it's in Sly 1 they mention uh, Salim Al-Kupar, right? I think that's like the only time they mention him. I'm going through. So, you know, there was ancestors there, right? But they didn't want to put too much in it because it was mostly the Sly and Carmelita show. And, like, Bentley and Murray was an afterthought. Please do not walk over here. Just keep going. Just keep going. You're a bitch. I'm dead. Yep. We already seen ancestors for three games. Yeah, I mean, mo the only new ancestors in, in like, they played the ancestors safe because they already picked the ones that they talked about in, like, other games, right? The only new one, really, was, uh, was the first Cooper, Bob, and then, um, and, uh, I think it was just Bob that was the only one because they talked about Ryu uh, Ryuichi before, Kid Cooper was mentioned before, Salim was mentioned before, and Galahad, or whatever fuck his name was, was mentioned before. Like, in, through, like, Sly 1 through 3. So they played it really safe. And I understand that because it's like, we want to make a sequel to this game. Right? So play it safe. Sly hasn't had a game in, like, 10 plus years or some shit. It just kind of sucks that they played it too safe. Oh my fucking god. I hate this mission so goddamn much. Such a stupid ass mission. Yeah. 
Yeah, fucking... Sly 4 has so much potential. It really did. They just... They fucked it up because they were too scared to, like, do anything too new with it. Because they're like, if we do anything too new, people might not like it, and then we won't be able to make our sequel. I have, like... I don't want to talk too much about it because I feel like I want to talk about it, like, when we get to Sly 4. But I have a thought process in my head as to how they probably wanted that story to go and end, right? So, just, just as, like, a snippet, definitely, at some point, I feel like Sly was supposed to meet his father, like, through time travel. Like, there's no fucking way in my mind that that shit wouldn't happen. Now I just gotta walk all the way over there. Without getting seen. Don't get blown up, but if you get caught in their pathway, they'll just walk and touch you and they'll be like, you're, you're not a, you're not a barrel, and they'll kill you, right on the spot. This is the part, like, this is why I fucking hate, like, the elevation shit in here, because there's really, you gotta go the long way to do anything here. Barely see the fucking spotlight. Like, why is the spotlight so faint? <laughs> oh my god. Look at this instant death right here. Now yep, I'm dead. He's gonna touch me. Uh. Uh. Get me the fuck out of here. No. <sighs> Get me the hell out of here. You're not coming up here, are you? Please. Uh. Because I need... Wait, let me read the chat real quick. 007 reference got old after the third time it was used. What? What was the 007 reference? I'm like familiar with other references they used. Uh, I don't want to sit here too long, but um... I'm just trying to... Okay, so that's... Where's the fuck? Whenever you did anything. The spiral. Oh, what? Oh, the spiral barrel layout. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. You mean like the binocucom and shit. Okay. I get you. I mean, it's fine. It's like a static thing. It didn't bother me too much. God, I fucking. Like, I'm sorry that I'm moving so slow in this mission, but this mission has me, like, the most paranoid out of, like, all of them. Oh, I can go up through there. Because the moment you fuck up, it's game over, man. It's game over, and you gotta do it all over again. Ooh, I didn't even know you were up here. I was just coming up here so I can make my way over there, but thank you. Oh, hey, Breezy. How's it going? How's your day? <clears throat> Hope everything's well. Hope everything went well. This is the worst mission in the game. In my opinion, at least. Just want to make sure I'm going the right way. Is it above me? It is above me. Wait, it's a but what the fuck? <sighs> See, I gotta, I gotta go all the fuck the way over here. Cause you can't even jump out the barrel. If you jump out the barrel, well, first of all, you have to be in the barrel to collect the damn thing. But if you jump out the barrel, it explodes. Now, I'm not even sure if I'll fucking, I might just, I might just blow this thing up right here. Trying out a new game update. What game? I might just blow this up right here. It's gonna blow up. Ten bucks, it says it blows up. Kaboom. Alright. If it did, I would start crying. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. No. <sighs> That's awkward. 
I was expecting to have like a little bounce there. What if the barrel like clipped on the side of the wall and then it blew up? <laughs> Risk or rain too? What's that about? I've never heard about that. Is it like myth or something? Alright, where am I going, Sly? I'm going all the fuck the way over there. <sighs> Not only that we gotta get all these cylinders, right? Once we do that, we have to carry it all the fuck the way back. <laughs> Here we go. Don't you come this way, you son of a bitch. I don't even know where my... Okay. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Just gotta wait now. <laughs> Shoot enemies, get loot, repeat, boss phase. It's pretty fun, yeah. I still play Borderlands from time to time. I haven't played any of the Borderlands 3 DLC after uh, after they did Love and Tentacles, right? Where uh, Hamlock and um, when Hamlock and Jacob they get uh, they get married. All right, where am I going? Past that guy? Oh, that guy's definitely gonna see me. Oh man, no, no, I'm gonna sit right here because I feel like I'm gonna get in his walkway and he's gonna touch the barrel and he's gonna be like, "What? There's a raccoon in there." Kill him! Get him. Turn around. Turn around. Don't you keep walking this way. You fucking turn around. This shit makes me so paranoid. Keep going. Turn around. Get. Go. Skedaddle. You're not gonna turn around, are you? So that quick turn he did? Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> he pulled this. Oh fuck. Oh man. Are you are you literally in front of where I'm supposed to be? I'm gonna sit here. I should be safe. I should be safe. Keep going. Fucking toucan Sam looking ass. I might hit that blade. I feel like I'm gonna hit that blade by accident. Sly, where the fuck are we going? What am I doing? Am I supposed to be up there? I'm supposed to be up there. Oh no. We're going back. <laughs> and where's the other guy? Right where I should be. not turn around oh come on I gotta get up there I gotta get on the steps make life more difficult <sighs> fuck this goddamn mission watch it not even count <laughs> most difficult mission in the game done fucking terrible all right, where's the bottles? I'm hearing you. I hear you, bottle. Oh, you're up there. How do I even get up there? Can I? There we go. Could've sworn I heard like another bottle nearby. Oh, I did. There we go. anymore
Yep, look at that bottle over there. Being all sneaky and shit. Sly? I know you guys heard the sound effect for the spire jump. <laughs> Going to sleep, mess up Clockwa. I will. I plan on finishing this tonight. Alright, Sly. You can make it across. There you go. Oh, shit. Um, there's another bottle around here somewhere. I'm just trying to get like a... Oh, here we go. Fucking die. There you go. I, oh, there we go. I was trying to get up here. Just want to check up here. Yep, there's a bottle. Good thing I checked. Good thing. Good thing. There's tin left. I'm listening out for these bottles. Because I want to get them now. I don't think there's one over here. I don't hear it. Yeah, I don't hear nothing. What other missions we have left? We have... Sly and Bentley conspire. Oh shit. There we go, that's what I wanted. I wanted some health. I'll take some coins too. Oh! Oh no, thought I heard a bottle. Just the sound of machinery. False alarm. Come on, Sly, what the hell was that? Alright. Um... I guess I'm gonna do the rounds now. Just to, like... Listen for bottles and shit, because... I don't wanna... I don't wanna do it after the boss. Right? Keeping my ears open. I think there was one up here that I didn't get. Right? No, I guess I got it. What about over here? I see one. Oh, fuck. Come on! You're lucky there's a ladder here. Get the hell out of here, man. Such a pain in the ass. There we go. Just trying to get a fucking bottle. Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Alright, I don't hear any other bottle. I think there was another one on like a wire like this somewhere though. Probably across on the other side. Look at you. All evil and shit. Being goofy. So, today, alright, I had nothing better to do. So I was like, you know what? I can go for a wrong button. I can go for a, uh, a show to watch, you know, along the lines of like Futurama or fucking, you know, I hear a bottle. Along the lines of like Futurama or like, uh, I don't want to say Enchanted because Enchanted's fucking bad, but you know. Even though it's made by the Futurama guy, Enchanted's just fucking terrible to me. I don't like it. Um... Not Family Guy, but like more tamed, right? So I went on the Hulus and I was like, you know what? I remember watching... I remember watching, uh... 
Solar Opposites, right? Which is like the the show with the fucking aliens made by the Rick and Morty guys. It's not it's not too bad, but it's not that great either. Right? It's definitely not Rick and Morty. <laughs> but I am happy that it's not trying to be Rick and Morty, right? So that was that was alright. There's this other show that fucking I don't even remember what it was called. It was about like an Italian family or something. Likes the show close enough. I don't know what the hell that is. I'll be honest. I I watched Drawn Together back in the day. <laughs> the one that had like discount Pikachu and bootlegs, <laughs> bootleg, bootleg Superman and all that shit. What was he called? Ling Ling? <laughs> and all he did was speak Japanese. Hmm. You want to get back to watching it? I don't know. I'll I'll look into it. Yeah, but I remember watching like watching like Duncanville. That was something that came out like last year. And I watched like the first two episodes and I was like, not for me. And then I watched a little bit more of it and I was like, you know what? It's actually pretty fun to watch. It's that nice like... It's that nice middle ground of like... It's simple. Like it's entertaining, but it's just like soup. It's just like a really simple show. Right? <laughs> you remember Drawn Together? Man, when I think of Drawn Together, there's like two gags that I always remember. It's uh... It's the one where, um, <laughs> I forgot what, the, they were trying to get someone to talk, and the guy was dead, or whatever. And the superhero dude was all like, was like, maybe a little bit of cracking his neck will help. And he's just cracking his neck left and right, he's already dead, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I remember that, and then the other one is, uh, like a joke they did with the next, with the next quick fucking chocolate rabbit. He's like, if that wasn't chocolate milk, then what the hell I've been sucking on? <laughs> and he runs from under the covers, and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? If that wasn't chocolate milk, then what the hell I've been sucking on? <laughs> and I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, I did, and like, it was weird too, because he came from under the covers and shit, because he was like, I think he was like having sex with Foxy or something? I don't know. <laughs> and fucking his... <laughs> He had like brown stains all over his goddamn mouth, and I'm like, so what? I was like, real shit. What was he actually doing? <laughs> Never answered. Why am I pulling out my binocucum? Like I'm gonna fucking five bottles pulling out the binocucum. What a fucking idiot. Did I pass a bottle coming up here? I feel like. Oh yeah, I passed this one. There we go. I was like, didn't I pass a bottle? Hmm. <laughs> One of the greatest mysteries left unsolved. Exactly. Yeah, but Duncanville was like really simple. I like, I'm tr I want to say it's like Bob's Burgers, but I never really watched Bob's Burgers, so I can't really compare it to anything like that. It's just like, it's not a show that's like super funny or anything like that. It's just funny enough that you just acknowledge it and you're like, huh, oh, that's a nice funny joke. Right? But you don't laugh at it, you just acknowledge it and you appreciate it. Right? Kind of like how most of the humor in Futurama was, right? Like, Leela would say something fucking crazy, and then instead of, like, having a gut-busting laugh, you would just kind of, like, smile. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, that's nice. So, Duncanville was pretty fun to watch. I didn't want to start the mission. I just wanted to get the bottle. So, I was looking on Hulu. I forgot what the fuck show was called it was something about like an italian family okay their Let's uncle snitched on it's not uncle my bad me long to these guys their keys. they had like an uncle that talked a lot it was like a cartoon it was like they had an uncle that talked a lot and apparently their mob boss wanted to snitch him out right mob boss wanted to snitch him out my bad the mob boss wanted to whack him so then instead of that uh the dad went and whacked the mob boss <laughs> And then they had to go into witness protection or something. It was like, it was really stupid. I'm gonna be honest. It was not a good show. It was not a good show. Like, it had good writing. It had okay writing, right? And the Italian accents were like hella thick. Like the fake Italian accents. It was fun, but like the art style is definitely, they should have went with a different art style for that show. It was not, it was not good. <laughs> right? Yeah, 
Duncanville is actually pretty good. I like Duncanville, and it's it's getting uh, it got okayed for for a second season coming out this uh, coming out this May I think. So I'm actually really I'm really excited for that. I wanted to see more of that. Like it's really nice. <laughs> like I was actually really surprised because I watched the first episode and I said, "Why the fuck am I watching this? This is terrible." And I watched a little bit more. I was like, "You know what? This is actually pretty fun to watch." But then when I was looking at through that stuff, I saw this fucking this show made in like 2013, 2014, and apparently fucking Eva Longoria was in it. And it's a show called Mother Up. And I was looking I was looking it up because I was like, this is pretty good. Animation style is nice. I believe it's flash animation. I'm like, animation style is nice, right? Like, the story pacing is pretty good. Uh it's like, again, it's a, it's that sweet spot of funny where like you're not gonna lose your shit, but you still appreciate the jokes that they make. So I was looking at the wiki for it, right? Like, job failed. Guard carrying key was killed by who? Not by me. What? Okay. That's weird. <laughs> Teammates burning each other out here. Let me get the fucking keys. Let me get the keys first. I'm out here worried about the bottles. But, you know, these idiots are out here killing each other, I guess. <laughs> that was strange. Yeah, I was confused as shit. It's like, you failed. Mission failed. We'll get him next time, boys. Wrong button. Wrong button. How do I cancel that? There you go. I want to do this. Sliding around like the Silver Surfer. Yeah, so the show Mother Up or whatever, it was a, a American Canadian show, right? <laughs> so maybe that's why I didn't do too good. But also, the show was pitched as a female version of Family Guy. First of all, that show is nothing like Family Guy, especially for like the fucking like 2013 and 2014 era of Family Guy. Because I'm be honest, if you're in 2013 and 2014 saying we're making a we're pitching a show and it's like a female version of Family Guy, I'm not sure about you, but I remember Family Guy being pretty shitty around that time. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck would want to be like Family Guy, but whatever. <laughs> Family's guy kind of gotten like a little bit better now, but you know, fucking 2013, 2014 definitely wasn't it definitely was not that was not something <laughs> shouldn't happen I think that was also the time they were like doing the Cleveland show stuff right son of a bitch but yeah I'm sitting there watching the show and it's really good like it's a uh, it's about um what's it about it's about a mom, right, who worked in, like, the music industry with, like, celebrities and stuff. And she really, you know, since they're rich and shit, usually the nanny would take care of the kids or something like that, right? She has two kids, one named Apple, the other one's named Dick. <laughs> Both the kids are actually pretty, they're pretty cool characters, they're not annoying. I was actually really surprised by that. I actually like both the kid characters. Um, there's a father, but he's only there for like two seconds because, you know, apparently he, he just leaves. Um, and there's the, there's this rapper, <laughs> this rapper in it, hilarious. I forgot what his name is. He's not that crazy hilarious, but he does some goofy shit. And honestly, there's some, <laughs> some of the raps that they do, right? Some of the little joke raps they do are actually pretty fun to listen to. Pretty fucking clean if I do say so myself, right? But yeah, uh, basically, she signs up with this rapper or whatever, being his agent or whatever, working for like this talent agency, right? And basically, what happens is she has to leave the agency because because of a conspiracy that happens, quote unquote conspiracy, where um they find out. The problem was that the rap, you know, stereotypical, you know, black rapper guy, like, he's crazy, nobody can tell him what to do, but she's there and she can tell him what to do, because she's the only person who actually says anything to him. 
Like, she'll literally just smack him and be like, shut the fuck up. And he's like, man, I love you. He's like, I need you in my life. Nobody else tells me to shut up or anything. Right? But he doesn't love her or anything, right? It's just like, like, nice little goofy dynamic that they have. But, um... <laughs> but, uh... I'm trying to explain it while fucking playing the game. Looking for clue bottles and shit. But yeah, uh, the conspiracy is that there. Uh, he needed to get. He needed. He needed some sort of inspiration for a fucking new new hit single, for a new track, right? And in order to do that, she ha she said, "Well, he broke so many rules. I had to create rules so he can break those rules." They said, "What'd you do?" So basically, they went out to like Nigeria or something like that and <laughs> started hunting down kids with tranquilizer darts. And that's the conspiracy that happens, right? So, instead of letting her agency throw her under the bus, she said, You know what? I'm appalled by this agency, so I'm going to quit until they change their views, and me and my family are gonna, gonna go live in the suburbs. And that's just how it all starts, right? She gets to the suburbs. She doesn't actually know how to take care of her two kids. She's a single mother now. And then, of course, there's like the... There's the, um... HOA of like house moms <laughs> and then it's all history from there it's actually a pretty good watch and I'm really sad that uh it will never ever get a second season or anything like that number one because fucking the main character is Eva Longoria and good luck on, on getting her to do that shit again right and number two uh number two it's just the timing that they put it out was not good timing at all and I think it came out on Hulu first if I'm not you know if I'm not wrong like there was zero marketing for the damn thing also the fact that it's a Canadian show Canadian American show right fucking like I didn't even know this shit existed until today <laughs> like at least people knew Total Drama and like 16 existed because it had like a good time slot on Cartoon Network right and then when they were like, let's make Stork, or whatever the fuck that show is. Plot sounds interesting, kind of sad. It's really fun to watch. If you have Hulu, I highly recommend it. Because it's not, it's not bad. The characters are funny. She always says some type of dumb shit. Uh, she, the character that works off of her is like, since she's, since she, since she's like a bad fucking single mom, right? She's all like, oh, the kids will feed themselves. Here, just fucking... <laughs> Let them party and shit. Who cares? Right? I just don't know why the fuck they try to compare it. Why they try to sell it as like a female version of Family Guy. I was like, what the fuck? That makes no sense. <laughs> I'm like, that makes absolutely no sense. There's not even a fucking pet character in there. Like, at least American Dad has, like, the alien and the fucking goldfish, right? I'm supposed to go up there. Oh, my God. I hate this fucking airship. <laughs> I'm hearing a fucking bottle. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Shut up. Four more to find? I'll find them. I already know where, like, one of them is at. All the fuck the way over there. There we go. Damn. God, and of course I get spotted instantly. Where's the engine room door? Is it above me? Where is it? Oh, it's over there on that side? Gotcha, Bentley. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, Bentley. I just gotta take the long way around, because this fucking place is goofy as shit.
here a bottle. Where are you? Are you above me? Oh, you're over there. Oh yeah, no, this is the one I knew. Yeah, I knew you were here. Oh! Lasers. Alright, I thought I heard another bottle. Uh, Fillmore. Oh, Fillmore, you mean like... <laughs> You mean like Disney Channel Fillmore? You mean the guy with the baldy? <laughs> that Fillmore? And his best friends like the cool goth chick? <laughs> I fucking love Fillmore. Bro, <laughs> I was... I think it was like last year or something, I was like looking at some old episodes for Fillmore. And it was like one of the episodes, uh... It's when he was talking about like how come he don't play golf no more because he used to just like take people's shit. And he's all like, for me, it wasn't about the swag. I was like, oh my god. Motherfucker back in the day sitting here talking about swag. Before swag was even a thing. He said, for me, golfing wasn't about the swag. I just did it to beat them. To make them feel bad about themselves. <laughs> like, Fillmore's a true one. I give that to him. That man with the baldy. This, this better not fucking activate no goddamn boss fight. Okay, Bentley. <coughs> Got hooked on Fillmore for a while. <laughs> I believe it. I got hooked on that goth chick for a while. Hey, Going through my phases, you know? You know? Kid watching Fillmore. Watching Danny Phantom. Watching. Watching, uh. Kim Possible and shit. Watching Teen Titans and stuff. And I'm like, looking at all the goth girls. I'm like, yeah. That's what's up. Real shit. Oh my god, fuck. I didn't mean to shoot that. Real shit, though. No lie. Real talk. Like, peep this one. Like, peep this one real quick. Like really, peep this one. Motherfuckers that made Danny Phantom, they had they had something for like goth girls, cause there's too many goth characters in Danny Phantom. Like come on, like I get I get they're all ghosts, but come on, like really, you have Amber, you have Dahlia, you have fucking Sam, you have uh. You have other characters who go through like goth phases, right? What other fucking goth characters you had in Danny Phantom? There's like a shit ton of them. <laughs> Remember Paulina? <laughs> he said, Paulina! <laughs> like the moment, the moment I figured out Danny Phantom was up to some shit, was the episode they had the fucking genie ghost and I was like, oh, come on, come on. You got the genie, got the, uh, like the sexy genie ghost coming out saying, your wish is my command. I'm like, bro, that's too much. It's a kid's show. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's, I think that's Dahlia, right? The motorcycle chick. No, you know what? No, Dahlia's the, uh, Dahlia's the one that turns into the principal. Yeah, the motorcycle chick is is different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A different person. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking... Oh no, Danny Phantom was on some shit. They're like, listen, I'm not trying to say anything, but I'm start saying some things. I don't wanna... I don't wanna start shooting these, because I feel like I'm gonna start shooting the wrong one. Like, I don't wanna, like, miss and die. Oh, come on, Bentley. I don't know why they make it an insta-kill, though. See, like, right there. If I would've shot right there, probably would've fucked it up. Probably would've died. Oh! I'm not even gonna risk it. I'll just wait for it to come back. See, there you go. Oh, come on. Let me get you, because you're on the outside. 
I hit that. You know I hit that game. Stop being stop being stupid. <laughs> so you know you didn't hit it, man. You thought you hit it. But you didn't. I don't know why they make it an insta kill. I wish I wish it was just like if you got it wrong, you took a little bit of damage or something like that. Maybe like get it wrong three times, but make it an insta kill. A little too much, right? Shoot! Oh my fucking god! It takes Bentley forever to reload his shit. There we go. If I shot and I missed it, <laughs> like right there, would have been all over. Do it again. You messed up. There we go. Alright, see, now I can be a little more reckless. Because they're both fucking far apart. There you go. Come on, Bentley. Okay, pal. There we go. To make that shit. It's not even difficult, they just make it tedious for no reason. And then this one, you just bomb things. Man, some pathetic ass robots. Still ain't even get hit. Is that the last one? I'll never forget the time watching Kim Possible. And then they're just like, who's that guy? That's Higo. I'm like, oh my god. Where's this going? Shigo's got a whole family? He's like, what's your power? I shrink. And everyone's all like, oh man, you're a loser. He's like, I know. <laughs> I know I'm a loser. I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces Nearly with forgot, us. forgot about she goes family? I'll never forget about it. Because the thing that made me laugh was that there was the episode where they all turn evil. They get like mind controlled or some shit. And like the purple guy who always gets made fun of because all he does is shrink. He tries to like, he tries to do like this combo shit. And then she goes like, you've been trying to hit that shit for years. You're never going to hit that combo ever. It never worked. Stop it. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris. And if that hate him, no. I'm sorry. Who's in Paris, Bentley? Well, you know the story. Bentley, I'm trying to find out who's going to Paris. I don't know what I'm saying. Who's who's in Paris? I mean, I'm from Paris. Like, Sly's from Paris. We all from Paris, but... Who's really going to Paris? Where the fuck is it? Is it above me? Cooper's in Paris. Here we go with that fucking one bottle that's missing. It's time, time for the hunt to begin. Oh. Let's see. What the fuck? Oh. That looks like a vortex. <laughs> I was like, what the hell's going on over there? Alright, let's see. Can my intuition sniff out where it might be? I say it's going to be high up. Oh, come on. See, now was that worth it? You didn't jump off and killed yourself. I feel like it would be over here. Oh. Thought I heard it. Thought I heard it, but I didn't. It can't be over, it can't be up here because I checked the shit out of this area. So it might be on the lower levels. Or like around one of the ladders. Like around one of these ladders. 
check the other side. Calm down. Wait, do I have something on my back? Since when? Am I supposed to be going somewhere? Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not in the middle of a mission, am I? No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm just carrying like a battery on my back then. Hmm. Maybe it's down here. trying to listen out for this last fucking bottle. I don't know why they never brought back the, uh, the upgrade you get that helps you locate the bottles. Oh. Yep. There you are. Found you. You better not fucking shoot me. He's throwing stuff at me. Safe's all the way over there. Got it. All right. What the hell is the last clue bottle thing? Watch it be like, it's an upgrade to help you get- Why is there a- What? How did that get in there? <laughs> Watch it be like, here's an upgrade to help you look for more bottles. Like what? <laughs> I'd be confused as fuck. That arpeggio is fucking dead. Clockwork killed him. Seven, two, five. Gotcha. Oh my god! It's me! Shadow power. What the fuck? Press R1, R2, sign. This is gadget. Okay, well, I'm not gonna be using this anytime soon, so. Ooh, nice. Too bad you get it at the end of the game. <laughs> well, you're not really gonna use it that much, but that's fine. Can I at least... Oh, God, I have... I want to see if I can at least run while doing it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think the Shadow Power ever comes back. <laughs> in, like, another slide game. Like, you had it in the first Sly game, I think, like, you, if you stood still for, like, a period of time, like, you would enter, you enter the stealth arts, right? But, uh, after this, I don't think it ever comes back. What's, uh, what is my, oh, wrong button. I was thinking if I should, like, go and grab- oh my fucking god. I was thinking if I should go and grab, like, the upgrades and stuff, but we'll probably be here forever. Right? So let me- Oh my fucking- God! Guys, God, it's not that serious. It's never that serious. You're lucky I don't have any special ability points, gauge, whatever the hell.
I just want to see what I'm missing. What we're missing is the Feral Pounce, which I never use. The Diablo Flam uh, Fire Slam, which I never use. Temporal Lock, which is time slowed down for Bentley, apparently. Why Bentley gets to slow down time? I don't know. Sly gets to do it, too. How come Murray doesn't get it? It's kind of fucked up. It's because he's purple, right? I see how it is. I'll send her my radio post. Hey, hey. Yeah, that was a terrible joke. I feel bad for making it. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll <laughs> First she goes purple, brother, now Murray. Yeah. All right. Sounds like fun. All right. Wait, there's mines? Oh, I forgot I got to go up there and plant shit, don't I? Uh, well, they're not that hard to get. Yeah, they're not that hard to get to. They're actually in pretty convenient areas. <sighs> Turn around! Damn it! Oh my god, of course. Of course you want to be fucking extra. Alright, isn't this where I'm supposed to be? Am I... Oh, I'm supposed to be up there. Oh. Never mind, I take it all back. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're in good areas. Nope, I take it all back. I'm not in good areas. I'm being difficult for no reason. Now, how the fuck... How the hell am I supposed to get up there? What the fuck? I don't... It's a ladder, I don't... What the fuck? Bentley, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? Is there like a launch pad or some shit? Get on top of all four towers. How the fuck do I do that? I guess I would, uh... I guess I would get up there if, and like parachute down? Of course you're both here. Of course you're my way. What's in your pockets? There's no reason for me to steal it from you, but I'm going to. Garbage. Come on, Sly. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm supposed to be up there, right? How the fuck? Bentley? How the fuck? I'm actually trying to... I'm actually a little confused here. What the fuck? Bentley, how the hell am I getting up there? Oh, I know how. God damn it! Game being super difficult for no reason. I need money. Come on, Sly! Wait, never mind. I'm actually supposed to be over here. Hold up. Don't worry about me. Never mind. I can't grab. This is stupid. <laughs> Alright, so I need money to get the feral jump for Sly so I can jump up there, right? 
Now, the fastest way to make money is to, like, grab treasures like that and rush it back to the goddamn hideout. But I can't grab the treasure because the moment you get to this part of the game, they already put an item on your back that you can't take off until you beat the mission. Even if you're not in the mission. <sighs> so, I gotta fucking pick pockets now. Get the fuck out of my face! Oh my god. Smoke bomb. I used a smoke bomb and you still shot me. Jackass. <laughs> it shouldn't be that bad, but like, come on. It's kinda it's kinda weird that they're like forcing you to get an upgrade without any like anything to like kinda warn you about that. Maybe they did warn me about it, I just didn't pay attention. Who knows? <coughs> oh, shit. You know you got like a tickle in your throat, but you don't want to cough because you don't want to seem like a crazy person, so you're holding it in. And then you feel like your whole world comes crashing down. Uh, can only Sly grab treasures? Yes, only Sly. In this, in 2? Well, in the first game, you only play the Sly. In Sly Cooper 2, Sly's the only one who can steal. And in Sly 3, everyone can steal. But they each have, like, different methods of stealing. It's not until Sly 4 where stealing is just, like, really easy to do. Because what's even more annoying about it in this, in Sly... Fucking what just happened? Oh, robots. Okay. Like Sly 4 is the one that's definitely the best with the stealing because it's easier to do and you can move while stealing, making it way easier. But in Sly 1, 2, and 3, you gotta like stand still, pick their pocket, stand still, pick their pocket, right? So, oh my fucking god, get out of here. Yeah, sure, cancel the mission, I can't even do the damn mission. So like, don't go in here, you'll cancel the mission. But, from slide 3 and slide 4, whenever you steal something, it will automatically go into your tally. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I need 2,000, bro, like around 2,000, come on. Come on, that's unnecessary. See, I'm not even in a I'm not even in a fucking mission, and I had this shit strapped on my back, so I can't get the big treasure items. Well, I guess I you know what? Fuck it. I guess I can get the mass Bentley, right? That should work. I think I can get the mass Bentley, and I'm not even gonna try as Murray because Murray doesn't have that many. He doesn't have that many options when it comes to traversing the area. Bentley has way more options. It's just that he's weak, and he's not as stealthy as Sly. Can you get the hell out of here? I have no idea where those coins came from, but they came from somewhere. Oh my fucking move. God, fuck it. Forget about you. Give me this. I'm trying to... I'm trying to think of, like, the easiest way to go. I forgot what my button was. There you go. Oh, man. I might not even make the damn thing. Hold up. No, I can make it. I can make it. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Dude, in my fucking way. You better not hit me. There we go. Alright, how much that- how much that net us? Oh my god, short by a fucking hundred, are you kidding me?
Sly, go steal some shit. I don't even know where the other, like, special treasure in this area is. I'm just trying to look for someone who has, like, shiny pockets. It'd be faster that way. You kidding me? Two of y'all motherfuckers are right here and none of y'all have anything good in your pockets? What about you? You gotta have something good in your pockets. Oh my fucking god, fuck it. I'm just gonna take it. How do you even know it was me? How do you know I was there? Oh my god. Get out of here. I was hoping I can beat the searchlight. Didn't beat the searchlight. Does no one have no good loot in their fucking pockets? Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. It's the final area. Why y'all fucking broke? You tell me Arpeggio, the big boss, wasn't paying y'all shit? You still did the job? Goofy. It's the last area I'm still getting silver necklaces and shit. Like, I should be getting rubies and sapphires and stuff. But it's like, nah, you got something worth like 50 fucking 50 cents. I don't even know if this guy had anything good. He just saw me in like two seconds, though. I ran straight into a fucking spotlight. Great. Smoke bomb don't even work half the fucking time. Both of y'all ain't even got nothing in your pockets. God damn it. Oh. Surprised I didn't get caught there. Blind bitch. You got nothing in your pockets? Oh my god. Why is everybody broke? You have nothing either. I mean, they all have something, but... You did not see me from all the way over here. Come on. People with the flashlight didn't even see me from all the way over there. Come on. What about you? You got something? Oh my fucking god, I'm so mad. <laughs> Why are all you guys so broke? Fuck it. I think I have no- Oh, you got something. You definitely got something, right? Nope, you don't. What the fuck you turn around for? <laughs> There's no reason for you to turn around! Oh my god. This game's being stupid. Everybody's turning around on a dime. Treating it like a sponge, I was like, I think someone's trying to sell me something. They're all broke. Not none of you have any shiny things in your pockets. Really? Out of all four of you that I just saw, what the fuck? Get out of here. That's what you get. Well, maybe this ring I got or whatever sells for a good price. Who knows? Eh, just enough. Broke bitches. <laughs> like, how are you broke? <laughs> Why is everyone broke? Continues to rob and attack them. Yeah, but like, come on. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of... Uh, oh, I don't even have the other one. Select it. Also, what's really stupid is that... The fact that the special bar doesn't regenerate until uh it doesn't like auto regenerate until until sly four which is like guys why did it take you that long to come on man these birds be seeing me from miles away we need to send carbolita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blip to do that i'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers they are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental bacon.
I just cracked my rib cage. Yeah, that's right. You heard me correctly. It was probably on the microphone. You probably could hear it. <laughs> oh, come on. You're still on me? Get out of here. God fucking damn it. Except, sorry, your rib cage? Yeah, my rib cage. Like, let me put it in perspective. You ever had a moment, right? Where, like, I guess maybe you, maybe you slept on, like, the wrong side or something. Or, uh, or I don't know, I guess, I guess you were, like, maybe been, like, pause, I guess, because, you know, people are crazy out there. You know, you're, like, when you're bending over or something like that, like, lifting boxes or something, who knows, right? What the fuck? What just happened? What blew up? Okay, that was weird. Right? And then, like, you get back up and, like, like, uh, like, there, there are some, like, areas in your rib cage, right? Where your bones are kind of, how do I say it? Like, soft or, like, they're more flexible than others, right? So then, like, they kind of go, like, a little bit inwards. It makes it sound like I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> but they kind of go, like, a little bit inwards. And then, like, you know, if you were to push your chest out, you can feel it, like you know, trying to push back out, and then you crack that, right? Like, that's what I'm talking about. Cracking your rib cage, your chest, or whatever the fuck. Alright, so... Feral jump, right? Oh, shit. Can I do it in, like, midair? Nope. Oh, it takes no, uh... There you go. Now you too can jump like Carmelita. There you go. I'm going up there, right? That's the next tower. It says it takes no fucking... I like that it takes no, uh, ability. That's nice. It takes nothing from the gauge. Sly Cooper has suddenly learned the ability, uh, Force Jump. You can't catch me. I jump so fucking high. You'll never catch me. What if Clockwork just came and just, like, grabbed me out of the sky? If you ever played, like, the ending of Kingdom Hearts 2, and, you know, in that boss fight, like, Sora and Riku are, like, flying all over the fucking place, this is exactly what it feels like. Exactly what it feels like. Good job, Sly. Alright, where's the last mission? Carmelita's Gunner. Oh, I bet. Oh, I pressed the jump button. It didn't go through. Wait, what? Why did it... Why did it unmap my jump button? What was that about? Wait, what? You can do a... Oh my god, if you're sprinting and you press the super jump button, he does like this fucking dodge roll. Like this dive. I like it. Wait a minute. 
Oh my god, no! No! The jump is different now, no! It's no longer a super jump. Why'd they change my ability? Now nah, I leap like a fucking frog. Or am I going up there? Go ahead, frogger your way across. That's how I jump now, forever. Hey, Carmelita! You're not gonna shoot me on first sight? Not flirty chit chat. I love how no one filled Carmelita in on the details. She just said, Well, I guess it would make sense, right? She was there. She was there the first time you uh, fought Clockwork. Right? She helped you out the first time. So, the first time she's the, like, come here, she'll see the owl. She'll be like, Oh shit. <laughs> We're doing this shit again. Keep it up. Oh my god. Inverted controls. Curse you, PS2. Right. Oh, come. Well, I got this, Carmelita. Just don't. Don't berate me, okay? Focus. I got it. Ow! Where the fuck that came from? Correction, Carmelita is Clock La now. Clockwork. Am I supposed to shoot the fucking wing? Because big glowy red spot. Oh shit. I didn't even see that missile. Oh, shut up, Carmelita. I got this. What the fuck just hit me? Fuck these rings you keep shooting. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god, yeah, we're dead. We're dead, Carmelita. We're dead. This shit is stupid. Why is the fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> what hit me? I was wondering what was hitting me, is like, eye beams? She doing like, laser beams or something? What's going on there? Oh, we're gonna be here all night. That's it, that's how we're gonna play it. We're gonna be here all night. Don't let up. You're doing great. Fucking overheating the gun. Gun overheats so damn fast. I guess I do shoot the wing, huh? Oh, my fault. I didn't see that missile. This is why you give me like a radar or something, or at least warn me, Carmelita. Right? I guess when their eye, I guess when his eyes glow or her eyes glow, you shoot them. Oh, motherfucker! Are you kidding me? I'm trying, Carmelita. I'm trying my best. Eyes are glowing. I gotta worry about the glowing eyes. All right. Keep at it. We're winning. That was bad. No, we're not. We're losing. We're losing, Carmelita. We're losing. We're losing real badly. We're getting through. Shoot the fucking missile. Oh my god. 
Oh, shoot the bird! Shoot the bird! <laughs> My eyes fucking hurt already staring at this damn screen. Shoot the bird, shoot the bird, shoot the bird. Ah, oh, come on. Carmelita, why don't you, I don't know, dodge? Tell me to get it together. I'm doing all the work here. You're fucking it up, Sly. Like, I'm afraid to shoot when the circles are coming, because if I shoot it again, it activates it again. Oh my god, we're gonna get hit by that eye blast. We're gonna get hit by the eye blast. We got hit by the eye blast. It's hard to hit the eye blast through the circle, because if you hit the edge of the circle, then it reactivates. And the gun overheats every five seconds. fucking god and I can't shoot the missile because it's right in front of the circle you there we go that was some terrific shooting. oh my fucking god my eyes hurt I did not blink We've got a serious problem here. Looking what seems to be the situation Bentley no Murray, you're fine, but Bentley, no! Quick, Carmelita, fly me over to them. Oh, wait, never mind. What? <laughs> oh, no. Clockwell's got my friends, and she's flying away. Carmelita, fly me over. Never mind, I'll just drop you off, Sly. It's fine. Oh shit. I'm not digging this. This is bad. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just gotta make sure I get the right angle. Okay. Oh come on, why am I stuck? There we go. I'll never speed again. Uh, can I make that? I don't feel like I can make that. Don't touch the fan. There you go. Oh, I just hit an invisible wall. <laughs> there we go. Come to save you guys. I'm hitting invisible walls and shit. I'm here. My friends! What's Neela's motive? You're still the low eh. backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can, Cooper. I might not have been one of This is actually one of like the down like the downfalls of Sly 2. Neela really doesn't have a motive, like at all, besides like, I want to be immortal, which doesn't make sense. Take that, bitch. Like, I don't think her motive makes sense at all. Like, at least Arpeggio, right? The thing was that Arpeggio was like behind the whole entire thing because he's a small little bird and he wants to be Big Bird but also immortal at the same time. But Neil is like, I want to be immortal. But the immortal they're talking about is Clockwork who we killed in the first game and he was immortal. So they're not really immortal. She might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that family can go to town with this bomb. He said, yeah, we gonna put a bomb in it. 
Go ahead, Murray. You can do it. Graceful. Open up, bitch. Hey, this is a kid's game. Calm down, Neela. I am Revenge. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Clock up. So, I'm assuming what's happening here is that maybe her consciousness is like going along with Clockworks or something. What the fuck did I just hit? Take that bomb. Oh, need more? Sure. What am I getting hit by? Am I getting hit by Neela? So then I'm going to tell you exactly my weak point. The hate chip. Haha. -ha. Let's get out of here. She's about to explode. Bidley. That slide two's finished. And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on clockwork. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. Carmelita was upset that she left me in midair for no reason. Central center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So, I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about well, everything. Books, music, art. <laughs> it was like we were on a first date. She so you like art? I like art too. For the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours. A fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. He stole her bottle! <laughs> I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! But, one may ask, that's the end of slide two. 
what happened to everybody else? Well, we'll find that out very soon. Now, slide two is really interesting. And there's a reason why a lot of people like it as... There's a reason why a lot of people think it's the best slide game. The overall feel of the game is just great. Uh, there's some problems here and there, right? Like how, how uh, you know, the thief net shit works and getting the coins, right? It's kind of, you know, it's kind of grindy in a game that shouldn't be grindy. Uh, the fucking stamina meter they have is kind of a pain in the ass because if you run out of stamina, you can't use your ability. And to get it back, you got to be at full health and go pick up, go get a health pickup, right? Or run back to, um, run back to the hideout and then it automatically refills. Inspector Carmelita Fox continues to search for Sly Cooper, whose current whereabouts are still unknown. Right? <laughs> Dimitri went on to work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. Sly 2 babies? <laughs> Rajan now owns a series of rug outlets across North America. The Contessa went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the <laughs> let's say, greater Milwaukee area. John Bassan went on to work for the EPA and ended up frozen yet again on a rescue mission saving baby penguins. <laughs> that guy can never get a break. As for Arpeggio, he doesn't get a where are they because he's dead. Neela killed him. <laughs> Neela just straight up killed him. But yeah, there's this like, overall, the tone of Sly 2 is great. <laughs> okay, that's it. You've seen everything. You won. Go outside. <laughs> there's that too. I love shit like that. Yeah, there's this overall, uh, like, atmosphere of like, maturity to it. Especially compared to the first Sly game. And... You know, if you check the bios for the characters and stuff like that, like online or something, I believe in this game, Sly is like 20 or something like that. He's in his 20s, right? He's either like 20 or 22 or something like that compared to the first game where he's um, like a teenager. And like the game is kind of like, you know, happy-go-lucky or whatever until you get to the end and you fight clockwork and it gets serious. Meanwhile, this game... It's a little bit more on the serious side. Not too serious, because it is a kid's game, but... There's definitely a lot more... Here. Right? Especially how the ending goes, because it ends on a bittersweet note. You did it. You stopped Clockwork from coming back. But... Even though... Even though you saved the world, you didn't save yourselves. Right? So as for... Sly, Bentley, and Murray... For what's going on with them, it's currently unknown. Bentley has been incredibly injured, which will come into play later on in the future, right? And overall, the characters will grow, grow and mature as a whole, which is something that, which is something that's really fun to see in Sly Four. And it's really weird to say that because in Sly Four, when it comes to the story, they kind of. They kind of regress back to like how they were at the beginning of this game, which makes no sense. But in the beginning of Sly 4, you definitely feel how mature they are, right? Like they're in their fucking 30s. They're in their 30s. They're like, ah, oh, shit. Here we go again, right? Uh, in terms of story, there's definitely a lot of places this game falls flat on. Um, but. The stronger points kind of carry that back up and way past the point where it falls flat on. Neela is definitely the worst of it, I will say, because overall she's kind of just there. She's not really, she doesn't really leave an impression on you at all. And she has literally no motive besides I am, besides I'm evil and I want to rule the world, I guess. Right? Like, Arpeggio had more of a reason, and everyone else in the Claw Gang was just kind of just... They were just kind of selfish, and just wanted to use Clockwork parts to, like, up their own business and stuff like that. And, of course, Sly, uh... Sly and Gang had the biggest motive, right, to go after Clockwork parts. Now, the biggest question is, how the fuck are there even Clockwork parts if 
when you kill Clockwork in the first game, the parts were inside a fucking volcano. <laughs> right? Makes no sense to me. <laughs> Makes no sense how they retrieved those parts, but they did. A year later somehow. Right? Um... What else is there I want to say about this game? Uh... Fuck. <laughs> Feels like there's something that I'm missing. Something I really want to say that I'm not really, like, pressing on right now. Oh, Carmelita. As for Carmelita in this game, she's kind of just there. She really... She really doesn't do much, which makes sense, because it's supposed to focus more on Neela. Right? But in slide three, they, they give Carmelita a bigger presence. But it's not really until like slide four where Carmelita has a lot of screen time, which is really great. So, that's it. <laughs> that's it for Sly Cooper. Uh, we're done with slide two, 100%. Right? Where's that save file? Let me see it. Options, save, 100%. Done. Look at that. Beautiful. It's fine. I don't want to delete my save. What if I just deleted it by accident? That would be awesome. I feel like... Let me see. I want to know. This one, there's like an extra cutscene or something like that. Because the first game had like extra cutscenes after you beat the game. Like, just like promo shit. Nope. Just like game cutscenes. Okay. Well, that's fine. Right? So, right now. Ah, uh, I'm tired. I'm sleepy as shit. That's gonna be it for Sly Cooper. Right? For the stream tonight. Uh, we're gonna take a break from the world of Sly. Right? I don't know what game I'm gonna be replacing after this. I was thinking about Zelda, but who knows? Maybe it won't be Zelda. Maybe it'll be something else. Um... Which is... It's really nice. I like that we're in and Sly tonight. Because we're also just starting Phoenix Wright. And Conception is still going, so now we also have another new playthrough to do. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll put it in the schedule. Right? But... For now, that's going to be it. Next time we stream, which is going to be like, what, two nights from now? Like always. We're finally going to be going back into Conception. Was supposed to stream it this week. Missed the schedule. I missed it. I fucked it up. But, but next time we stream, it's definitely Conception. Head back to the world of uh, anime and all that shit. And then Phoenix Wright. And then after that... Whatever game replaces Sly, we'll replace it. Who knows, we might just go straight into Sly 3. Probably not, though. Most likely not. I don't know. I need to find, like... I need to find something different, right? Conceptions... Conceptions pretty visual novel-y. Phoenix Wright is a visual novel, right? You need something that's not a visual novel to play, right? You can't just have nothing but visual novels, right? So. We're gonna end it off here. As always... I want to say thank you to everyone who came down to watch live. Greatly appreciate it. It's fun. I like it. I like doing it. I chill out. I have fun. People on VODs, thank you very much. You can catch it live. Do that. Same thing with people on YouTube. Announcement. I forgot. There was something I wanted to say. This whole entire week, I spent a lot of time going back to older streams and stuff like that and just editing them so I can put them on the YouTube. So, a couple of like one-off streams are going to be getting uploaded hopefully tomorrow along with Outlast and along with the entirety of the Corpse Party Book of Shadows playthrough that has been edited and rendered out. Um, and I think that's it. And probably sometime next week I'm going to be uploading the Sly Cooper stuff because it's a complete playthrough so you know 100% all that stuff. So that's it. That's it for me. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I'm sleepy. So, once again, thank you to everyone who is watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good night. Stay happy. 
stay healthy and take care i'm a chef chef too what else should i be please don't take off